All right, so we're taking a look at Kelly Barnhill here from a video that I pulled off Facebook from the College World Series. Obviously, Kelly Barnhill, tremendous pitcher. Let's take a look at this pre-motion. Now, you'll notice the uniqueness of her pre-motion. Watch how high this left elbow gets. Also, she's got her shoulders already turned sideways and her upper body and lower body already turned sideways before her knee comes up. So that's very, very unique. Uh, when she comes up, you'll notice her knee starts to come up before her arms do. So her knee's starting to come up and her arm is still way back here. Again, look at that high elbow, which is very unique to her. So now that her knee is up, watch how quickly this young lady gets turned. Her knee and her hips are turned before the ball is even level to the ground. So we get to the point where the ball gets level and look at this position she has right here. Tremendous extension with the arm and the ball. Look at this back hip turn. Look at the back hip turn and look at the way the front hip is completely turned. Then from there, we're gonna see her land on the ground. Now what I think is unique is in all the Facebook posts for the NCAA, you can't see their feet. I'm wondering if this is a conscious effort over the whole crow hopping situation not to show the pitcher's feet in their Facebook posts. It's just an interesting question. So when she comes down, you'll notice that a couple of things. First of all, her front arm is already completely down. So she's not taking advantage of using both arms. But since Kelly is such a tremendously strong athlete with such a strong lower half, she's able to do this. When she comes down, look at the back elbow. When we're looking at that back elbow, you can see her hand is under the ball, such crisp and clear video. We're not on top of the ball. So we come through here and we can see the finish with the hand coming somewhat over the top. And we're seeing, look at the lower body here. I'm not quite sure what pitch this was with her, but the things that you see, look at the lower body pinching. Look at the front arm coming down and look at this, whatever it is, look at that hand extending outward. We see the pitching hand extending outward and actually rolling over on this pitch and her finishing her body uh, with the glove. By the way, look at where the glove is when she's done to protect her face even though she wears a mask. So a tremendously complex motion from Kelly, especially at the beginning. Uh, it doesn't look like this one ended well for her as she's looking backwards at the end. But watch her beginning. And again, a very complex beginning. And the, remember, the more complex your pre-motion, the more your athlete has to practice in order to make it repeatable. So we advocate on Virtual Softball Academy a simpler motion because it's easier to repeat and requires less practice to make it repeatable. But obviously you can argue with the results that Kelly's gotten through her career. But look at this tremendous, uh, aggressive Look at that front elbow lifting, very high, very unique to her. But look at this position right here. And this is something we're going to see in a lot of our hard throwers is this hands level to the ground and our hips completely turned sideways. In fact, look at her front knee actually being pointed downward. That's something you're going to see in a lot of our hard throwers. A complete uh, bend in her back leg still and weight on that back leg. And when she comes down, you'll notice in her also that back knee uh, does straighten out right here. And then it right there, you can see it, it straightens out and then her knees pinch. So some very, very unique things in the Barnhill motion. And again, you cannot argue with her success. Tremendous career, tremendous pitcher.